The That's devil said, I want you to remain a sinner. Yes. But thank you, a Christian. I want you to keep drinking Hallelujah. and keep smoking and keep partying and keep remarrying and divorcing That's right. and keep living together, not married. I want you to keep up your homosexual lifestyle. That's right. But I, I want you to still think you a Christian. And the devil came up with a good plot. Oh, yes. A good scheme. Yeah. A good framework. Oh, yeah. He sent men around the world to overpass right. the deeds of the wicked and gave them all one message. That's right. That come on the one heading. That's right. They are all called motivational speakers. <laughs> Amen. That's true. That's true. Am I right, I said? That's right. They are all called That's right. motivational speakers. They are, they are waxing fat. What, 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 what? In Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 28. Says what? They are waxing fat. They are waxing fat. They shine. They shine. Yeah, they overpass. They overpass the deeds the of the deeds, wicked. The lifestyle, the actions of the wicked. Of the sinner. They judge not the cause. They don't judge the cause. The cause of the fatherless. Uh -huh. Yet they prosper. What? Yet they prosper. And yet you keep giving them money. That's right. You what? What makes you give them money? Because they're not speaking out against adultery. Yeah. They're not speaking out against abortion. Yeah. They're not speaking That's out right. against same-sex marriages. Yeah. They're not speaking out against fornication. Yeah. They're not speaking against idolatry. That's right. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. They overlook it. And when you stand up for God Hallelujah. and tell the truth, they say you're mean. That's right. You're not loving. That's right. That's right. So the world is crying out yeah. for motivational speakers. Yeah. Another heading for motivational speakers is feel good preachers. <laughs> there was a my barber Reese. <laughs> you know, we in the barber shop sometimes the barbers always cut up. Sean always gets started with me first. Sean says, you know, I can be a preacher. He said, but I can't preach what you preach though. He said, I gotta make up my own religion. So Reese looked at Sean and said, well, I knew what you would be. You would be Reverend, fill me all good. And what was the, the deacon was called Deacon something. Mm. Uh, De deacon Jangalang. <laughs> because he would have all the change. Jangalang, Jangalang. <laughs> now, the preacher's message is designed to make you feel good while you're wrong. That's right. I want you to hear this viewers The preachers that's on all forms of media today Is sent by hell To make you feel good while you remain wrong Why do you think you can go to church driving mm. And then yeah. still sit behind the steering wheel while a so-called gospel song is on. That's right. Mm. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Mm. That's right. Then when you pull up to your church, you throw some chewing gum in your mouth or some tic tacs to get a bang out of life. That's right. Suck on a few lifesavers. Yeah. Go in some fraud church. Yeah. Speak in any tongue that you want. Yeah. That's right. Any tongue. I've got a lettuce, some lettuce, tomatoes, a lot of onions. Amen. Got a salad going on. Amen. The devil have never sent men to point out your wrong. No, no. The devil job is to make you comfortable. Yeah. Comfortable yeah. at ease in your wrong so you can go to hell with him. That's right. Yeah, that's true. That's why your preacher gets so bitter when he hear that you listen at this message. Oh yeah. Satan wants you lost. That's right. I don't read where Peter got upset with those who heard Paul. No. 
<laughs> no. I don't read where Matthew got upset with those that heard James. That's right. But your preacher will say, don't you, don't you listen to that truth of God. Yeah. Don't you turn that off. Turn that off. Don't listen to that passage in before you know it. You're going to start coming and bring them those teachings in here. <laughs> <laughs> those teachings supposed to already be in there. That's right. Why? Jesus said, preach the word. Preach the word. The word that God, he said it through the apostle. Preach the word. Preach, that's it. Thank God. Then he told us how consistent. He said, in, be in, in, in season. In season. Out, out of season. season. That means no matter what time of year it is, just preach the word of God. Amen. And be consistent with yeah. it. Be instant in season, out of season. How, how effective is it? Reprove. Wait, what should we do with the word? Reprove. Lay it out. Rebuke. Lay it out. That's it. What else? Rebuke. Ex come on, son. Exhort with all long suffering with all and doctrine. Suffering and doctrine. The time will come when they will not endure the sound Bible doctrine. The Bible said a time will come, and I can say the time is here. When they will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want nothing sound. But after their own lust. They lusts. don't want nothing sound. That's right. Cotton candy churches. Sugar daddy yeah. preachers. Sugar baby congregation. That's right. Don't want no discipline. Don't want no rules. Don't want no Holy Ghost order. Amen. You want to be on the choirs with all these blood clots around your neck and you ain't got no husband. That's right. That's right. You want to be on a choir with your cleavage showing. Yeah. On a choir with hot pants. The gays want to be on the choirs. Part of their hair dyed blind. Part of your right. hair dyed purple. Part of your hair dyed green. And here's a grown man with hot pants with his old cheeks. Go ahead. Your behind hanging out of your shorts in church. That's right. That's right. Amen. So Satan have a field of motivational speakers that he sent to misrepresent God and to discourage the sinner from coming to God. That's right. Because the sinner start looking and even the sinner know. Uh, this church is supposed to be like this. Yeah. So the sinner leaves church and go back out there acting like a fool. Yeah. That's right. Because in his mind, all churches are the same. Yeah. And are they all doing the same thing? Yeah. And he, he or she would say, well, look, I may as well just stay out here like I am because, I mean, they, the, the bishop smoking, the bishop drinking. Yeah. Yeah. He get his cocaine from bishop and get his pot from the deacon. That's right. And get his wine from the first lady of the church. That's right. Am I right? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Go back to the 18th chapter of Kings. Let's itemize this. Back in 1 Kings 18 and verse 22. Get me. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only remain I, a prophet of the Lord. I, even I only remain a prophet of the Lord. Pro but Baal's prophets are 450 but men. But Baal's prophets, 450. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. Listen at this. Let them therefore. It's time for sacrifice. Right. I want you to pay attention. Not only what they got. But uh, how it was offered. That's right. You know, when we offer ourselves to God, it has to be in a manner that God will accept it. That's right. And God will let you know that he will accept it by bringing his approval upon it. Yeah. That's right. And his approval will come in the form of all kind of blessings. Yes. Because your sacrifice gave him satisfaction to the degree it moved heaven yeah. and made the windows of heaven, glory to God, open up That's right. and made the blessings come down. That's right. Eh? Let them therefore give us two bullocks. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. And let them choose one bullock for themselves. You get one for yourself. And cut it in pieces. Now I cut it in pieces. And lay it on wood. Lay it on wood. And put no fire on I it. Want you to, I, I want you to pay attention. You got the sacrifice, which is the bullock. Bullock. Yeah. You got the wood. Mm -hmm. And there's a call for fire. That's right. Uh -huh. And I will dress the other bullock. And I will dress the other bullock. And lay it on wood. And I will lay it on wood. And put no fire on it. And I won't put no fire on it. And call ye on the name of your God. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Amen. Call ye on the name of your gods. Hmm, that's what I'm saying to you, viewers. Yeah. Yeah. You got more than one, you call on the name of your gods. That's right. Somebody wrote me the other day and said, you're the most narrow-minded man I've ever heard in my life. You ain't got that much sense to know there's more than one God, then I'm going to die narrow. That's right. Because straight and narrow is God's way. That's the way. That leads to life. That's right. If me being narrow will give me eternal life with him, then I'm going to be so narrow until you may call me the thin man. Amen. I'm going to be narrow, brother. Oh, yeah. I'm going to stay narrow. Narrow is the way. Wait, narrow is what? Narrow is the way. Listen at this. In Matthew 7 and verse 14. And listen at a narrow-minded holiness preacher. Because straight is the gate. Straight is the gate. And narrow is the way. Narrow. Is the way. Hallelujah. Glory to God is the way. Which leadeth way unto life. Lead. Which leadeth unto life. It leads where? Unto life. If me being narrow with my one God gonna give me eternal life with him, I, I'm gonna stay narrow. That's right. And you come on, you if you want to broaden your God, you go ahead. That's right. I, 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 we're gonna see where you headed. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Enter ye in at the straight For gate. Wide is the gate. Wide is the gate. And broad is the broad way. is the way that leadeth to destruction. That leads to destruction. And many there How many? be. And many there How be. Many? And many there be. Many there be. Which go in there at. You go on with your multiple gods and your multiple religions and your multiple beliefs. The hell you're going. That's right. And hell you're gonna lift up your eyes yes. and you're gonna remember. You're going to wish while you're burning in hell that you also had this narrow mind. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right. Let's go back to the sacrifice. Give chapter and verse because I want everybody to follow me as we itemize this in detail. Back in 1 Kings 18, we're at verse 24. Yeah. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord. Call ye. Uh, uh, Ron, turn me up just a little bit more. Call ye. Call ye on the name of your gods. On the name of your gods. And I. And I. Will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. The Lord. You know, every, every, true men of God have one. That's right. Eh? That's right. I said true men of God. Just, just one. Just, just one. When God sent a man, there's only one day he going to wish up and only one he going to represent. Only one he going to preach about and only one he going to be willing to die for. And I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the Lord's name. And the God that answers by fire. The God that answers by power. Let him be God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What was this written for? I will learn. I will learn. I will learn. All right, come on. And the God that answereth by fire, let him be God. Yes, let him be God. And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. All right, you said it. It's all right with us. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, choose you one bullock for yourself. You go ahead and get one bullock for yourself. And dress it first. Dress it up. For ye are many. It's a whole lot of you and, fellas. And call on the name of your gods, but put no fire under. Call on the name of your G-O-D-S. But put no fire under. But don't you put no fire on it. And they took the bullock which was given them and they dressed it. They dressed it up. And called on the Dressed name. mean they got it prepared for sacrifice. That's right. Uh -huh. And called on the name of Baal from morning. They call on the name of Baal. How from, long? From morning. From morning. Even until noon. That's you, viewers. That's right. That's right. That's truth. You in your church, yelling, morning to noon. Until noon. From noon mm -hmm. to night. That's right. That's right. With no answer from God. That's right. That's right. You're jumping. You're shouting. Because the preacher got you believing that his antics is the anointing of God. That's right. So when that organ play behind him and he get the grunting like a pig about to be tortured and killed. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You think he's under the anointing. Yeah hands over his ears and going back and forth and screaming and yelling like he just sat on a thousand pins. That's right. They have seduced my people. Listen at this. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 13 and at verse 10. The preachers have tricked the people into believing that unscriptural worship yeah. is godly. That's right. Because the preachers know that the people don't know how God should be worshipped. That's right. Jesus said they that worship God yeah. must worship God in spirit. spirit. And in Thank truth. God and in truth. And in truth. If you worship God, you got to worship God in spirit. Now let me break that down. You know, the spirit is not only the nature of God. 
spirit is also the word of God right. or the speech of God. That's right. God, Jesus says this. The in words. John here, in John 4:24 yeah. says God is the spirit. That means that the nature of God is spirit because God is divine and God is eternal. But then Jesus come back again and said the words that, that I, speak I speak unto you, you, they are spirit and they are life. So when he said they that worship God must worship God in spirit, that means everything. Yeah. You think that mean because you jumping around and jerking around and shaking and eyes rolled back and about 20 ushers is catching you in white sheets and wrapping you up, getting you prepared like you getting ready for Taco Bell. That's right. And giving you smelling sauce. Yeah. You think you in the spirit. Yeah. Jesus said the word give chapter and verse St. John chapter 6 and verse 63 the word that I speak unto you the preaching amen the teaching yeah the message that I speak unto you the language of God the words that I speak that I unto you speak unto you they are spirit they are powerful and they are life that's, that's right that's right the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. They are moving. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. They are the anointing. Mm. Oh, yeah. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. They are the resurrection. Mm. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I want to say the Bible didn't say that. Yeah. That's why you need a preacher. You will see all these things. That's right. It takes words, which is the power of God, to resurrect you from your sins. Yeah. It takes word, which is the power of God, to give you knowledge about your sins. Yeah. It takes the word, which is the power of God, to bring the anointing of the Holy Ghost. How do you think the dry bones got moving? That's right. Words were spoken. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When the words were spoken by the prophet, yeah. the speech of God that was in Ezekiel, yes. thank God, made them bones come together. That's right. And then they were resurrected. That's right. And then God dressed them up. The word of God pick you up. The word of God dress you up. The word of God stands you on your feet. That's then right. the word of God give you a sense of direction. That's right. It resurrects you from the dead. Yeah. Clean you up. Glory to God. Yeah. And then set you on a straight path. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory the to God. The words that I speak unto the you. The words that I speak unto you. That I speak to you. They are spirit. They are spirit. And they are life. They are life. life. So that's what you're not getting. That's right. Amen. You're not getting that. In the churches today, you're not getting life. Life. You're getting death. Because the scripture says the sting of death yes. is sin. Yes. So the motivational preachers are sent by the devil to bring you death. That's right. How plain can we make it? There is a word that is clothed about with death. Listen, what, 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 what? Yeah. What is that? In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 23, and at verse 12. You see how all this is dressed up with scripture? That's right. There? There is a word. Wait a minute. Mm. There is a word. That is clothed. That is dressed. About with death. In death. That's right. What else? God grant that it be not found in the heritage of Jacob. For also. God don't want. That's right. A dead message. That's right. In the heritage. Of Jacob. Of Jacob. The sting of death is sin. Thing. God don't want no sinful message. That's that right. condone your wrong among God's people. That's right. That's right. He don't want it. There is a word that is clothed about with death. When a preacher justified divorce. Amen. And remarried. Amen. And your first companion is living. Mm -hmm. That's a dead preacher. That's right. You got a corpse up preaching. That's right. You got a sinner up preaching. Yeah. Where you got a preacher that justify any form of unrighteousness. Yeah. You know when God make a preacher. Even if that preacher have not mastered everything in that book. He won't justify his own self. That's right. Until Paul said. Oh wretched man that I am. That I am. Who shall be able? Hallelujah. 
amen, to deliver me from this body of death. Paul didn't even re didn't re didn't justify his own self. No, he didn't. He told you I'm a wretched man. That's right. He said when I would do good, evil, evil, is, present, evil is present. But he wouldn't justify himself. That's right. He said, thank God, uh, if I don't preach this, uh, if I don't deny myself, I'll be a castaway. That's right. He wouldn't even justify his own self. Hallelujah. That's he won't do it. That's right. This is the type of word that come in the false churches. There is a word that is clothed about with death. Viewers, this is the type of word that's in your church. That's right. Death. Death. Sting of death is sin. Oh, yes. She that live in pleasure is dead while she live. While she lives. You got a dead preacher. That's right. Amen. Being eaten up by sin. Yes. Preaching to a dead congregation. That's right. That's why y'all party and smoke and dance and play the lottery yes. and have church raffle tickets and the women is half naked with makeup and lipstick. Yeah. Thank God. And homosexual yes. preachers and homosexual deacons and the preacher don't speak against yes. no wrong Go ahead, and he placates your sin and dress it up dress and it up. say God is love. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And that's what he said. Amen. He dress it up yeah. and say God is love. That's right. Yes, God is love. But God got more titles than that. Woe to the rebellious children, Listen saith at the this. Lord. In Isaiah 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord. That take counsel. That take counsel. But not of me. But they don't, they don't get it from God. And that cover with a covering. They cover with the covering. But not of my spirit. But it's not the spirit of God. That they may add sin. That they may add sin. To sin. Yeah. That's right. You know the purpose of the word of God being preached yeah. that we may stay under the protection and the covering of the word. That's right. That's why it's preached. That's right. The word of God is our, that's what it's meant. God is our refuge. Yeah. How do God, how is God is our refuge? Oh, yeah. We come under the protection of God's word. That's right. As long as I hide Hallelujah. under the word, Hallelujah. God is my refuge. Hallelujah. When I get outside of the word, yeah. now I'm a prey. That's right. For Satan. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. There is a word. There is a word that is clothed about with death. That's clothed about in sin. God grant that it be not found in the heritage of Jacob. What is it? For all, God grant. God grant. That it be not that found. That word of death is not discovered. In the heritage, in the of, Jacob. heritage of Jacob. For all such things shall be all far from the godly. All such things. Shall be far from the godly. Shall be far from what? From the godly. From the godly. And they shall not wallow in their sins come out of your churches that's right come out of the congregation of the dead that's right come out of the churches that just got the name of jesus on the building that's right and don't believe it's his teaching the man that wandereth out, come of, out of, of understanding some fool said well i believe jesus but i ain't going to agree with the apostles really mm. listen here 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 mr and mrs blind you cannot obey Jesus without obeying the apostles. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. You cannot obey Jesus yes. without obeying the apostles. Luke chapter 10 and at verse 16. Let's get Bible for this. Luke 10, 16. Jesus said, He that heareth you. Talking to his apostles. That's right. Eh? He that heareth you. Talking to his disciples. Mm -hmm. Talking to his students. He that heareth talking you. Talking to his ministers. That's right. Talking to his representatives. That's right. Talking to his preachers. Amen. He that, that listens you, to you. Heareth me. They, they, when they listen to you, they listen to me. And he that despises He me, that rejects you. Despises me. They reject me. And he that despises me, he that despises the flesh, despises him that despises the spirit that sent that flesh. That's right. That's right. That's right. Do so you think that the words of Jesus are just in red letters? Are you that deceiver of the devil? Amen. Those red letters was just uh, something done in a printing shop. 
That's right. The Bible says all scriptures. That's right. Glory to God, who given by inspiration of God. God. And it's profitable. profitable. Thank God for doctrine. You got to have the scriptures to have your doctrine right, your preaching right, your teaching right, and the order of the church is right. In order for the altar to be built right, it has to be built according to the lessons of Jesus, the teaching of Jesus, the doctrine of Jesus, the thinking of Jesus. Everything got to be centered around the altar to be offered on God's terms. That's it. All right, let's go back to Kings, son. Back in 1 Kings 18 and verse 26. All right. And they took the bullock which was given them and they dressed it. They dressed it and, up. And called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon. They started praying. Hmm. Amen. That let you know even the devil got folk praying to him. Pray, that's, yeah. that's right. Amen. That let you know even the devil got folk worshiping him. That's right. That let you know even the devil got folk serving him. Amen. Yeah. Huh? And called. Yeah, yeah. And yet, mm -hmm. I want you to pay attention to this. Yes. And yet the devil's servants were sacrificing using an altar. That's right. They use an altar. That's right. A place that's designated that's supposed to be sacred. Yeah. But let you know there's more than one kind of altar. That's right. There's true worship and false worship. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Come on, son. And they took the bullock which was given them. They took the bullock that was given them. And they dressed and it. And they dressed it. And called on the name of called Baal the from, name morning, of the even devil from morning even to noon. Saying, Oh, Baal. Oh, Baal. Hear us. Hear us. Hear us. That's you, viewers. Oh, yeah. Mary. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's right. Mary. Hear us. Hear us, Mary. Hear us. St. Paul. That's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's Hear you. Us. Daddy Grace, hear us. Hear us, sweet daddy. That's right. Father Divine, oh, yeah. please bless me, Father Divine. That's right. Hear us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Mohammed, will you please answer us? That's right. Any time you pray to any other other than the God of heaven, you a heathen. That's a heathen. Did you hear the old troublemaker? That's right. Amen. Listen, when a saint in the scripture died, no saint died, and it was the will of God for you to pray to that saint afterward. No. We don't pray to Gabriel. No. We don't pray to Michael. No. We don't pray to Raphael. Mm -hmm. We don't pray to Mary. I prayed unto the Lord. My what? God. I prayed unto the Lord my God. You better give chapter and verse to this. Daniel chapter 9 and at verse 4. This ties in with what the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, teach us. Teach Teach us. Wow, Teach us how to pray. That's right. Well, you're taught how to pray. You're taught who to pray to. And I prayed unto the Lord my God. Give chapter and verse. Daniel chapter 9 and at verse 4. Who did the prophet pray to? I prayed unto the Lord my God. No, I prayed to the Lord my G-O-D-S. I prayed unto the Lord my G-O-D. Who you praying to? Amen. You praying to that elephant? Hmm. You praying to Buddha? That's right. Fat belly bald head man? That's right. Are you a Confucianist? Amen. Are the stars your God? Go ahead. Go ahead. Is the sun your God? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is the moon your God? Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. You see, God believers don't believe in stargazing. No. We don't believe in horoscopes. No, 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 no. Someone say what? Oh, yes. No. Horoscopes is of the devil. That's right. We don't believe in Leos and Scorpions and Pisces and Aries and Sagittarius and Taurus the Bull and Aquarius. Yeah. The more funny looking man holding a pitcher of water. <laughs> According to the horoscope, I'm supposed to be an, an, an Aquarius. Yeah. Standing holding water and looking wrong. And I'm supposed to be a Virgo, Pastor. <laughs> You're supposed to be a Virgo? I'm supposed to be a Virgo. A Virgo. That's the devil. That's the devil. <laughs> so and say, well, where is it at in the Bible, Pastor Jennings, in the book of Acts of the Apostles? Yeah. The apostle Paul and Barnabas was preaching among barbarians. Yeah. And the barbarians were sky worshippers, yes. observers of the planets. That's right. And they looked at Paul and looked at Barnabas. And when the how, people yeah, saw. how the power of God worked through them. Right. And they thought that the planets in the form of gods, gods came from heaven to the earth among them. Let's get Bible for this. Acts chapter 14, right verse 11. Glory to God. I want to lock all this down yeah. so we can sacrifice right. That's right. Uh -huh. 